My name is Neil Forsey. I'm an engineer with Agilent Technologies. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about a free software package that's available for the advanced power system family of high performance system power supplies. The software is called Power System Software, and it provides three main functionalities for controlling or configuring the advanced power system power supply family. These are meter or control view, black box recorder viewing of data, and also trigger configuration. Let's take a look at each feature in detail. So now we're looking at the power system software, the meter and control view. And right now we're connected to two advanced power system power supplies, a one kilowatt power supply and a two kilowatt power supply. We can actually use the power system software to connect up to 14 advanced power system power supplies at once. So if we look at our meter and control view, we can see the output voltage and current measurements for power supply one and power supply two. If I expand the view for the one kilowatt power supply, we access a lot more information. We can see the status bits, such as over voltage and over current. We also have access to all the front panel controls. So for instance, I could turn the output on, and we can read back the resulting output voltage and current. So right now we're set for four volts. And then I can, of course, turn the output back off. So we have all the controls on the front panel. And now we're looking at the black box recorder analysis view of the power system software. So let me first upload data from the black box recorder on the one kilowatt power supply. So now we can see with timestamps, voltage, current, and power measurements. Now if you notice that this first turn on of the voltage level here, we're at about 11 volts. And we can see the corresponding current that we actually had a large inrush current. We can also view other events. Some of those other events include the power supply being cycled on or off, the power supply going into CV or constant voltage, and then also events such as a sense fault. And so now on the bottom in green, we can see these other status events that we just added. We can see when the power supply was cycled on and off, we can see when we were in CV mode, and we can see if there was any sense faults, which there were not. This is all time stamped and correlated with the voltage, current, and power measurements. Now let's say we want to store or export this data. We can easily do that by going to the export tab and we can save it to a Microsoft Excel or CSV file. Easy as clicking a button. Now we're looking at the trigger configuration function of the Power Assistant software. This allows you to configure complex triggers for the advanced power system power supplies. So you can not only create them and export them to the instrument, you can also import existing ones from the instrument into the software. So let me configure a logical trigger. We start by using an AND gate. And for my AND gates, I'll use a level trigger. And then I'll also use a digital input trigger, pin one. And then finally, the result of this trigger condition, I want it to shut off the output. So I say output off, and I add that to the output of the AND gates. Now what I've just done is I've created a trigger condition where if the threshold goes above one volt and I get an input on the digital input pin one, I will then shut off the output. So what I can now do with this trigger configuration is I can get the skippy commands and easily paste them into my programs. So here's all the Skippy commands it takes to create that logical trigger expression I just built graphically in the software. I can also export them to the instrument by using this down arrow. And as I mentioned before, I can also upload current trigger configurations on advanced power system power supply. So here, let me upload one from my two kilowatt power supply now I can view it to make sure it's correct. I can also edit it and then download it back to the instrument. In this video, we took a look at the Power Assistant Software Package, which is a free software package for the advanced power system family of system power supplies. We looked at the three main functions of the Power Assistant Software. That is a meter and control, black box recorder analysis, 
and trigger configuration. For more information on the Power Assistant software, see the URL on the screen. Thank you for watching.